The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Good evening and welcome to the Ball Game Blitz TV Networks. And we do sports here, produced by Worthy Road Studios on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. This is a copyrighted broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2023. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of this Ball Game Blitz broadcast without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. I'm Coach Joe Holloway. I'll be your announcer tonight. Our Color man, Will Cisco could not be here tonight, but uh, we have other teams playing tonight and uh, well represented at uh, USJ, TCA, and Peabody, and you'll get to hear some great announcers on those, and they're all on each high school's Facebook page. We also broadcast Union University home games, including volleyball, soccer, basketball, softball, and baseball, and this year added the Rockabilly baseball team and Bethel softball, uh, or actually Bethel Sports, all of it's coming on. All of the ball game blitz are archived to Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel. Our executive producer for all schools and other sporting events such as boxing is Paul Schultze. Now, we are here at Ronnie Fowler Field. We want to welcome the fans from North Point in, and some of them may not join the broadcast expecting a 7.30 start. This is the pregame show, and it is brought to you by Great American Sports, the Blacksmith, Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, Coca-Cola, Deaton's Carpet One, Elite Dental, Nest Realty, Humboldt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep Ram, the Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating and Air, Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Realty, and, of course, we mentioned Great American Sports. They have been with us for the pregame show for a couple of years. Southern Capital Advisors and David White Body Shop. Please support our advertisers. Now let's talk about this contest. At one time, the contests were at a 1-3 and three with North Point, or for Jackson Christian, you look at it, 1-3. North Point was 3-1. and one. Over the last two years, it's been evened up as Jackson Christian has taken the last two, two battles. And they were battles because Jack Patterson last year brought the Trojans back towards the end of the game, and it took a, a, an interception and a drop pass plus a big third down run by Gage Boykin to uh, seal the victory for Jackson Christian. And, of course, Zach Sisko's three field goals were a big point in that. Both teams run a spread-type offense. You'll see a lot of throwing, but North Point trying to establish the run game. They are the more experienced team because last year's team was a lot of the starters were sophomores and juniors. And, of course, Jack Patterson, I keep referring to him because he is a uh, college commit. We'll tell you more about that later. And uh, Jack is 6'2", 185, listed in the top 100 seniors in the entire state of Tennessee, and there are a lot of seniors. Now, we've got a new quarterback here at Jackson Christian School, Austin Kelly. He got to play those playoff games at the end of the year in place of Gage Boykin. And um, what a job he did, especially. I guarantee you that Middle Tennessee Christian and uh, Columbia Academy will remember the, the job that he did throwing the football, some great wideouts. But we graduated a ton of it, including last year's leading rusher and has been the leading rusher the last three years. Cam Boyd's playing a college football for Butch Jones now. And uh, we're going to miss him, and Easton Jones, and Deuce Lawrence. And hopefully before the night's over, for the Jackson Christian fans, I get to say the Deuce is on the loose. And uh, we have got some great things. The middle school won last night. We're going to give you more pre-game action here. and But we're going to take a timeout, an important timeout here on Worthy Road and Jackson Christian Network and let's hear from some of those great sponsors. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. 
located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard East in Jackson. We specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumbleDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. 
We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pool's massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pool's massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what, I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Back at Ronnie Fowler Stadium, and we have got several things to tell you about this game. One, our, our press box has been renamed in honor of Greg Armour with over 35 years of service to Jackson Christian School. Keeps us that. Helps with uh, coaching the middle school football team. Helps with the high school team. What a great job he is. So we're broadcasting from Greg Armour press box, and uh, you are – watching this game on the Jackson Christian face, Facebook. We welcome, they've sent a link for the fans of the North Point Trojans, and I'm trying to get my rosters and things straightened out just a little bit to help out here. And um, we did not, we received a roster from uh, Lietta Mahoney was great in getting us that roster, and it really helped but we did not get starters for the Jackson, I mean, for uh, North Point. We do have Jackson Christian starters here. And, of course, this is a game of talent. We talked about Jack Patterson a whole lot, but ranked number 138 in the nation is Jalen Mosley and uh, as a sophomore now, and he is playing for Jackson Christian. He'll get some action tonight. He's not been really very active in the – preseason games due to an injury and uh, that will make a, a big difference in the Jackson Christian offense and uh, right now they do not have him penciled in to start and of course he and Zach Cisco, the kicker both uh, made the all state team in division two last year a very elite all state team Zach was what a great job, and we'll be giving you some of his stats. And if I'm correct, what Greg Armour told me is he hit all 52 of his extra points last year, and his three field goals in this very game at North Point was the difference. Of course, the head coach of the North Point Trojans is Tyler Gold, and um, they were 6-5 and five last year, made the state playoff. And, of course, Jackson Christian's head coach, Darby Palmer, has a career coaching record of 40 and 28. He is the winningest coach. He passed Eric Cohue last year for wins. And, of course, the coaching staff for Jackson Christian, Rob Phillips, the defensive coordinator, Will Reichard, the offensive coordinator, Alan Irvin, Lewis Gillum, Brian Bullard, Josh White, Chuck Ray, Greg Armour, Chase McLean, and the newest addition is the former NFL linebacker. Let's take a time out, and when we come back, we'll have more information. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I Buy a car in your bikini. 
Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports. Make sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731 this is Lee Johnson and this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we are back here at Ronnie Fowler Stadium and Field. This is the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Network Facebook page broadcast. Also, it'll be archived tonight on Worthy Road Studios YouTube page. And you see a great shot by our camera crew. And, of course, Gary and Stephanie are behind me controlling the, the dials and stuff. Anyway, this game, uh, let's give you a little Jackson Christian information. Uh, first of all, they operate out of the spread formation, and I call it the multiple spread because they can do a lot of different things. 
The defensive set will be a 3-4. They have four returning starters and eight uh, offensive starters, eight defensive starters. And the North Point team graduated, I believe, 11 seniors plus uh, their fine wideout that had 47 catches last year, Gilliland, uh, has concentrated on basketball, and he is at one of the schools that uh, I don't have the name of it, but is somewhat like IMG and et cetera like that, and I believe he is in Arizona is what we were told. North Point Christian runs the spread also, although they intend on trying to run the football a little bit more. They are in Division uh, Two, Double A. Jackson Christian is in Division Two, Single A. And um, they have battled the last couple of years. Of course, at once upon a time, the Trojans of North Point Christian were the group from uh, SBEC. And one of their more famous coaches is an Ole Miss grad named Veezy. Butch Veezy used to coach there. They've had some great teams and programs in all sports, just like Jackson Christian, who has started with their original coach back in the early days of Steve Stroud. And... Uh, from Steve, they progressed on. Eric Cohue was here. They won the state championship and still were in Division One at that time and beat a lot of fine private, uh, public school teams in Division One in 2006 when Brian Stewart was the head coach here. And, of course, Darby Palmer has established himself as the winningest coach in the history of the school. And um, it was a great year last year, 10-2 was last year's record and the region record was five and one the region finish was runner-up and the playoff finish they made the semifinals and were eliminated by the nashville christian eagles and we can see now down on the field that the teams are getting closer to kickoff time we'll have the tip and uh, we will have the fisheye camera instead of the field camera tonight as one of our cameramen has gotten, or camera people has gotten sick. And But the fisheye will give you some great shots. Also, we have uh, multiple cameras that we will be working with tonight. Glad to have the North Point and, of course, all you Jackson Christian fans there. You're used to me. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get used to it because I'm actually an old color man that became a play-by-play -play man about 20 years ago. And uh, we're going to try to give you the best of this. Two fine teams playing here. And it uh, looks like Jackson Christian is going to send out Austin Kelly. They're also going to send out Big Cedric Anderson. And the center, Eli Gay, will be going out. He wears 61, Anderson 79, Kelly 11. And number 85 is the big tight end who can also play a little linebacker and some things. Pretty good baseball player, Daniel Green. And, uh, of course, other captains for tonight will be number 60, Ty Smith. And, of course, Ty, what a great blocker he is. They have to stay at the sideline and 48. They'll go out some games. That is the great Caleb Newsom, who used to play the dog linebacker. We've changed the name of Easton Jones will be playing the Eagle linebacker tonight. And we'll give you those starting lineups for Jackson Christian in just a moment. I do not have, and I apologize, tried to get the North Point starting lineup. And uh, I did get a roster, but – was not sent the starter. So we'll pick those up as they come out. Everybody pray for me. I'm trying a new scorebook tonight, different totally than I've used in the past. You see the white hat explaining the rules. And uh, I believe this crew is from the West Tennessee Officials Association. And they explain the rules. They'll tell how they toss the coin, what – and, of course, North Point will get to call. And they've tossed it. Let's see. They show it to both teams, which is standard procedure. Now, if North Point defers, Jackson Christian will more than happily take the football. And if they win it, they will take the football. And let's see what to say. It looks like Jackson Christian did win it, and they will receive uh, – I cannot think of but one game, and I may even be wrong about that, that Darby Palmer's team has not taken the football. They like to play offense first, and it looks like size advantage tonight is going to go to 
the North Point Christian team. And uh, Dax and Christian does it with speed and execution. And uh, like I said, we are just about awaiting the approach of the Eagles. And we are just about ready for high school football, which got kicked off last night in Milan, Tennessee, here in West Tennessee and up at Westview. And it's time to say it's football time in Jackson, Tennessee, as the Jackson Christian Eagles take the field, led out by their flag bearer. And there's a lot of excitement in the stands, a good crowd from North Point Christian, also a good crowd, a very good crowd, Jackson Christian. And they had kind of a get-together tonight, the parents and fans and boosters did, tailgating out at about 5 o'clock. And we are just about ready for action. Like we said, North Point will kick off. And we will get our charts and stuff moved around a little bit as we get to broadcast. Kind of proud of that for my good friend Greg Armour. And it looks like number 11 will kick off for North Point for the Trojans. And that is Brady Smith. Deep looks like Jack Collins. Also, number two for the Eagles. We'll pick up on that. That looks like Mason Vaughn and Easton Jones back deep. As Brady Smith will approach the football here in just a matter of moments. Front line man by you got a couple of folks that can handle the ball up there, plus one of our interior linemen. End over end kick comes down towards Jack Collins wearing number 88. He takes it on the hash mark across the 20. It bounces off one man, the 25, the 30, down across the 35 yard line, and that's where he is stopped. And it looks like the first man to hit him was number 29. And if that's him, that's the fine running back, Noah ok Okaboki. And, uh, Noah, I will get your name right. I think that is right before the night's over. And he is a fine running back. Jackson Christian goes straight to the line of scrimmage. They're on the right hash bar. There's movement. There should have been a flag dropped. And it's a swing pass to Mosley, who will get about six, but – I did not see the yellow handkerchief on the field, but it should come back because the tight end moved early. I, I do not know what happened. And we'll see if we got a replay, but Jackson Christian running basically their no huddle offense, which they're calling them at the line and moving very fast. But it's second and five, and now the uh, official throws an offside flag. Very interesting. Mosley caught one for five. Let's see if this will get the first down. And you can see him stepping it off. First penalty against the Trojans. Kind of missing my sidekick just a little bit tonight. First and ten. They give on the handoff. This is Deuce Lawrence. Deuce will have a short gain as that defense of North Point was there very quickly. Number 19 doing the job for North Point. That's Chase Jennings. Quickly to the line of scrimmage, Lawrence has a gain of one. Everybody checking the sideline. That's where it's signaled in from. Defense checks it. Let's see three down linemen. Four linebackers. Now they're going to throw the look in to Mosley. He'll be close to a first down, and with the body lean, may have that first down. Mosley with two catches tonight, and it's going to be close. They tell him to move the stakes, and that'll be the second first down. First and 10 for the Eagles on the 44 of North Point. Fake to Lawrence, flushing Austin Kelly out. They've got a hand on him, wrapped up for a sizable loss. 
finishing him was, and I want to get the number straight. Those are awful like numbers, look like number 72. And that is Chris Sorani, Soriano, 72 there. And uh, yeah, there was a good rush by some others. And that's going to make it second and not quite a $5 cab ride. $2 cab rides are not there anymore, but about 21 yards. Second and 21, trips right. They block. It's a little quick screen. Trying to get Mosley loose. He gets across the 50 down to the 47. So he picks up eight. Mosley's got three catches already tonight. Lawrence comes out of the ball game. Easton Jones is in there. Austin Kelly, your quarterback. Jack Collins at a wide out. Daniel Green is the tight end. It's third and 13. Possession down early in the football game. Jackson Christian would love to put it in. You see two receivers to the left, two backs. See if there's some motion, and there he is. It, and uh, now we'll see. I, I thought it was. So Jackson Christian will be assessed a five-yard penalty, and it'll make it third and 18, and that really makes it tough. Got to have the big play. Ball on the Jackson Christian 48-yard line on the right hash mark. Not the kind of start they wanted. North Point's got to feel good about their defense. Again, Mosley in motion. They look, man, and just overthrown. Tempting to get that pass out there. And it's incomplete, bringing up fourth and 18. It'll be a punting situation. Zach Sisko on to do the punting. North Point only sends one man deep. They got five in a second line. They look at it, check it out. Ball kicked away, takes really a side bounce, but it's to North Point's advantage is it'll be blown dead at about the 27-yard line. So North Point Christian and Jack Patterson, who had, I believe, 2,200 yards last year and over 3,000 his sophomore year, and don't think that was a bad year last year. He didn't have to throw it as much as the running game had improved for North Point Christian. Here's Patterson. Going to give it straight out on the first run. It looks like a Toby. He'll pick up about three tough yards. Three tough yards makes it second and seven. Here's the handoff. It's going to be a throwback pass. It's actually a lateral and then a pass. It's complete. He's down short of the first down. They threw it back to Patterson. He threw it to number 24. So Patterson now one for one, and that is a, a legal play. Picks up about five on that one. Be third and one. The ball is on North Point's 36. Wide side of the field to the North Point offense right where they have a slot. And they're going to give straight ahead, hit in the backfield. And I know Easton Jones was back there. And maybe Eli Craig, and I'm not sure who else, got back there. One more, and I could not see his number. That may have been Trent Carrier, number 22. And no gain. It'll be fourth and one. Actually, it'll be fourth and two. And we'll say it's a short three, long two. Going back is Jack Collins. Now, last year at this time, you would have seen Jalen Mosley, but like I said, he's uh, had a little injury, and they'll bring Jalen along slowly. It's long season. This is a non-region game. Now you got people running on and off the field. Here's the snap. Good hard rush. Kick went straight up there. Now Jackson Christian people got to clear out of it. North Point 
tries to get back to it as it took a big Jackson Christian bounce. And uh, Gray Patterson, the fine senior wideout, uh, he saved it from being worse than it could have been. Gray Patterson, what a fine young man he is. I watched him catch passes last year when we were there. Deuce Lawrence coming out with Austin Kelly. Deuce wearing number nine. Mosley, 23. Jack Collins to the right of the formation, as you can see. Mosley's in the slot. He may draw single coverage. Let's see if they play a one high safety or two high. It looks like it's going to be two high. The handoff. The deuce is on the loose getting across the 35 down to about the 34. Let's see where the placement of it is. It's a five-yard gain for Lawrence. He has two carries, six yards so far. Second and five, ball on the North Point 34, and Trent Carrier will go left. It looks like we'll have trips left, somewhat of a stack more than trips over there. Mosley is a little offset. One man in the backfield, and that's Lawrence. They're going to give to Lawrence. He comes back to the weak side, if you want to call it that. 45 had a handful of jersey and probably was the initial tackler. Uh, Knox Cassio. And let's see where the spot is. They give him four. It'll be third and a short one. Again, the shift. They're going to bring extra people. Five men will rush. Jackson Christian looks off. They change the play. They're still going to be, they being North Point, the five. Press coverage. And the deuce has got it, it looks like, across the 30. Deuce Lawrence with the carry. And you know, Easton Jones can also play that position. First down for the Eagles. Their third by run. Two wide outs to the left, a wing back left. They send Easton Jones in motion. They've got blockers in front of him. He cuts it up and a clothesline type tackle just inside the legal area. Uh, but a nice gain on first down for Easton Jones. Now, we probably, at this point in the season, won't see much of the fine running back, DeMoss. Uh, he has an injury. And Elijah, a very good player. Here is Easton Jones running hard again across the 20. And it's a first down. First down, second one by the run, one by penalty, one by the pass. Lawrence in the backfield wearing nine. As you fans familiarize yourself, welcome to Worthy Road Studios and Jackson Christian's Facebook page. Slot to each side. They're going to give. They pull the guards. Here's Deuce. Gets close to the first down marker. Will his extra effort get him that? It's going to be a close measurement. Deuce looks like he picked up about eight yards. It'll make it a second down. He's got five carries, 20 yards so far. These are unofficial. Greg Armour will be here with official stats. Again, two wideouts to each side. Austin, Kelly, and Lawrence in the backfield. They check the side. And, of course, we've got several people signaling them the plays in. Here comes an outside rusher. They want to flush him out. They throw into the end zone, and Golden Hands himself Jalen Mosley, what do you have? Touchdown, Jackson Christian and Jalen Mosley. The 10-yard touchdown pass. Mosley with the catch. And the notes on it, TD at the 51.5 mark here in the first quarter. Cisco on, and we may have just seen something. That one was... His first miss in 52 attempts. 
And so it's a 6 nothing score. We'll take a timeout and be back after this on the Worthy Road Studios Network. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installations, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass. We are back, and uh, sorry that you missed the kickoff. Paroli returned it out to the 34-yard line, and that's where the Trojans will start first and 10 on the left hash mark for them wide side of the field towards their bench. See Musgrove and or Musgrave, I'm sorry, and Alford coming to this side. They'll send one in motion. The toss, it's a sweep, strung out. One blocker, he, he could only block one man. He tried his best to help the runner. There's a loss on the play. Grayson Alford running the football. Alford has some speed, so a loss of two. Brings up second and 12, ball on the 32, wide side to the left, as you see. They give on a little cross action there and a nice pickup as they try the left side of their offensive line. Aboki with the carry. And there is a timeout on the field. Let's take a 30-second timeout. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installations, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. We are back, and that was actually a quarter right there, and we're going to flip into the field. Score at the end of the first quarter play, Jackson Christian 6, North Point nothing. We see now come to the right. He's an 11th grade wide out there. You've got a slot, one man in the backfield using a tight end. And the white hat kills the play. The shot clock was working fine. Now the clock may have stuck because it's still on 12. And let's see what, what happens here. We're going to do it again. We're changing some people out. Coming back into the game, Alex Musgrave, the 11th grader. And he's wide out. He comes wide to this side. There'll be a wing back right. And it's the running play. It pretty well tips it when they go that way. And good yardage for the first down, the initial first down for North Point. Boy, 
First and 10 for North Point. As you see them bring a slot to the right. They've got a wing back to the left. Wide out on the left. And again, they try the running play, but good penetration by the Eagles. There were several hit, and that may have been the big man, number 18. Gavin Walker, I know Newsom was in on that play and probably had the initial hit. Caleb Newsom, the senior who made all region last year. Now, North Point signaled their plays in with cards, as you can see. It'll be second and 12. Quick screen out here to the right. We gets one block, gets positive yardage, gets back the two yards of the loss, and about four more to go with it. It's third down and approximately seven. The ball on the North Point 49. They bring Patterson out here to the right. Also now one man in the backfield. They were in pass blocking mode, a crossing pattern. He's got time. Patterson's got the strong arm, throws underneath. And did they hold on? I think that some people in the stands may have wanted pass interference. Looked like a good hit to me. And we'll see. It brings up fourth down on the incompletion. Patterson now two for three passing. Coming into the ball game to punt. Brady Smith, who also handles kickoff chores. Back deep, Jack Collins, who has kind of taken over those duties. We see Trent Carey out here on the outside, and he's quick enough to possibly try to make a rush. You open the floodgate, then close it on the blocking up the middle, and uh, Easton Jones nearly got one. This is one that Jack Collins will have to back off of, takes a bounce, and 24, Gray Patterson watches it bounce out of bounds. Jackson Christian will have the football with 9.58 to go. As you can see, we have a scoreboard clock and scores up there. We are in quarter two. Some and you see our logo sponsors, the Blacksmith, Jones Chevrolet, Dynamics, Power Aid, and the Coca-Cola people. The Blitz, ball game Blitz also, along with Dynamics who handles the physical training. Austin Kelly brings his team out. He's going from west to east or uh, right to left now against the three down lineman. Let's see if a linebacker Creeps up in there. Shift the tight end and wing back. They're going to Deuce Lawrence to the loaded side, and Deuce is going to get strung out in a fine play by the North Point team. And they have the light numbers on. It looked like J.P. Woods made the initial hit. Eventually, the National Federation are going to outlaw. Jackson Christian's got a white set that are outlined and have a lighter number, in, and the National Federation gave schools a little longer to do that, but those jerseys, both ours and North Point's, one day soon, uh, you can't wear them anymore. Again, Jackson Christian shifting, Lawrence in the backfield. Here's uh, this time no communication and almost picking the ball off was the cornerback, Jonathan Bunch. The wideout expected one thing, the Quarterback expected another, and uh, the worst thing that happened is a hit bunch in the hand. So an incompletion for Jackson Christian. That's Kelly's second incompletion. He's got four completions to Mosley so far. Jack Collins will come out wide right on third and 12. Here's the man in motion. It's a passing play. Lots of pressure in there and almost unblocked. And I'm going to tell you what, the almost interception must have fired Mr. Bunch up because he got in there like he was shot out of a cannon. Brings up fourth down in a punting situation for Jackson Christian. Going back deep, looks like number 13, Paroli. He is a single receiver. 
not a lot of pressure. Punt return is on. Let's see if they return it to their bench. The way it bounces and kicks, he'll not return it. A good Jackson Christian roll. Rolls, rolls down across the 40 of North Point and uh, 57 for Jackson Christian. Chandler Crowell trying to help it a little more with a little win. What a good effort. That's where people are enthusiastic. Good white knuckler of a football game at 6-0, 825 to go in that second quarter. The down lineman for Jackson Christian or Gavin Walker. In the middle, Cedric Anderson, the big man, and Caleb Newsom. Slot to the left for North Point. Patterson sends a man in motion. Could it be the jet sweep? No, he'll turn around. And they fake the jet sweep, try to throw a middle screen. And it's going to be close to a first down. And that was number 24, Gray Patterson. Easton Jones with the tackle. Pickup of nine. Three complete passes for approximately 20 yards. It's second and one. There's a down really to play with. We'll check the back. This looks like a different back in the backfield with Patterson. Will it be they fake the jet sweep, a little crossing action, and uh, two Jackson Christian men, Jack Collins for one of them. And uh, is that 44? Kai Wyatt, the linebacker, in there in a loss a loss of at least two. So it is third down and three now. Running the football that time was DeMonte Dillard. He is an 11th grade running back. So Dillard in there. Now coming to the right along with Musgrave. The wing back and a tight end in this formation. They're going to try the running play again this time. The little man, DeMonte, is loose. The football is fumbled. He had a nice gain of about 15 yards and then fumbled the football away. Did not get the recovery. Let's see if we can see who made that recovery. And it is Mason Vaughn with the fumble recovery. And using this new scorebook, I have got to see where to put fumble recoveries. Anyway, we'll go with two and uh, put foam recovery down there. Like I said, trying a new scorebook tonight and then, um, like I said, missing our color man. But we're going to make the best of it. A great high school football game, 651 to go. As you can see, our power aid clock. Mosley, a single receiver to the left, slot to the right. Kelly in the backfield. Gives to Deuce Lawrence. Deuce breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage and is thrown forward on a tackle by Chase Jennings. And it looks like he picked up about two yards. So Lawrence has 18 yards on seven carries because he's had a couple losses in there. And what you look for is Deuce is one of those guys he runs. He runs hard. You're looking for him to break one loose, and then it turns into a track meet. One high safety situation. The quick out to Mosley. He gets one block, needs more than one, as North Point got there very quickly, kept it at about a two-yard gain to Mosley. Let's see if they agree with me. Yes, they do. It'll be third in a long six. Mosley's got five catches already, playing a lot of wide out. Slot left. Wing back on that same side. They fake to Lawrence across the middle, and it hit Mosley in the hand. But good coverage. It could have been pass interference. Uh, again, the difference between NFL, college, and high school is I don't think you can call face guarding, though, in high school. He must have put his hands on him. And we don't seem to have a replay. Normally, we have replays, and uh, this will be a first down by penalty. It is pass interference. Pass 
Fifth first down by the Eagles. That puts them in North Point territory at the 39-yard line. Empty set, but they'll send Easton Jones in motion. Usually indicates the sweep, the jet sweep. He gets across the line of scrimmage for a pickup of a short two or three. Easton Jones, very quick. He can break them loose, too. There's a lot of quick backs in this ball game. DeMonte Dillard has showed his quickness a minute ago. He just happened to cough up the football. Three carries for 13 yards. Three down line, deep linebackers, but they playing Kelly to throw. We didn't get the block, and we made a great catch, and Kelly took a hit, Mosley, at about the 21-yard line. So a 16-yard pickup and another first down. And Mosley is racking up some yardage. 47 yards will give you his catch total. Trent Carrier in there, Collins wearing 88. And uh, great defense, and they had a good rush. Austin Kelly stood in there, and for the the North Point fans, I'll tell you, he had a serious baseball injury, which he has – Done a good job of cutting back for. Here's Deuce. He is on the loose, getting down inside the 10-yard line of the Trojans of North Point. They're signaling the play in very quickly. So Lawrence, about a 14-yard pickup. I may be a little short on that. He's in the backfield. They give to him again. They try the right side, and somebody comes. One of the linebackers came in there for North Point with a great hit. And I saw 72 down at the bottom of the pile. Chris Soriano, he does a good job stuffing things up. And actually no gain on that one. Brings up second goal from the seven here in the second quarter. Pass into the corner, just out of the outstretched arms of Jalen Mosley at about the two-yard line, incomplete, and that will bring up a third down. Third incompletion for Austin Kelly, who's six out of nine on the night. They'll leave Mosley to work by himself, but they'll lean a safety over there towards Mosley, slot right. They send the tight end, or actually he was the H-back, and that looks like they've got Mosley in the back of the end zone. Let's wait for the signal. And it is a touchdown. Seven yards, TD to Mosley. He gets the Eagles on the board, and they'll probably kick it. They won't go for two. Now Austin Kelly will be holding and we didn't see what happened on that first. And like I said, Zach Cisco had not missed in 52 attempts. So here's the snap. The kick is up. This one has gone to the other side of the parking lot. It's good. And Jackson Christian leads 13 to nothing. Let's take a timeout here on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Network. Cooler weather this fall? And a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Back on the Jackson Christian broadcast on their Facebook page. Welcome the North Point fans in. It's been a good, it's really tighter than the score. A fumble set up that score for Jackson Christian. They marched it down the field. Mosley has two TD catches. 3.05 left in the first half of play with Jackson Christian holding a 13-point lead. Let's see who is back deep. 
for Paroli was back a while ago, and again, we cannot see one of the numbers. And like I said, I'll be glad when the National Federation finally quits moving the deadline back. Cisco's kick, it'll come down just short of the goal line at the one and a half. Um, starts up the middle with it, and Easton Jones hits first, and he had some help with that one. I think he got some help from uh, Everett Scott. That may have been Matthew McDonald that returned that one. This time, North Point quick to the line of scrimmage. Musgrave comes out here. He'll be one-on-one -on -one with Trent Carrier. That's a good matchup. Both of these are outstanding players. We show too high, and now we break out of it. We are in a really a truly a one-high safety. Blake Rowland, the one-high safety. The little inside pitch, and that is actually a pass the way they do that. And it's a nice gain across the 30. North Point moving. They've got a few more things in their repertoire than they had last year for that. Gain of about eight. Second and two, ball on the 31. Nice handoff. First down has been made. And then a host of Jackson Christian tacklers. We'll see if we can sort out some of the folks that was in on that one. It looks like Jones was one of them. It's first and 10. Quick pass on the screen, good yardage. Making some people miss is the wide out. And now again, you see a bunch of Eagles and uh, the man was down. One of the players trying to signal they had a fumble recovery, but no, he was already down. And uh, back quickly to the line of scrimmage. Pickup of about seven. Patterson gives straight ahead to Toby. And that time, Cedric Anderson, he gained yardage because he had good body lean, Ochobe did. Cedric Anderson with the tackle, though, and it'll be close to a first down. It's third and a very short one. Let's see with a slot right. Linebacker coming. They're going to pass the football, and they've got a man open out there in the left flat area. And a good pass and catch for the first down. That is Musgrave with the catch. And the third first down of the night. Ball in Jackson Christian territory on the 46-yard line. The left hash mark, as you can see. And it looks like there has been a timeout called by North Point with a minute eight. We'll take a timeout on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. We are back ready to play with a minute and eight seconds left in the first half, 13-0. North Point swings it out here to Dillard. Demonte Dillard gets one block, needed a second one, and a very, very nice tackle there by Trent Carrier, but a nice pickup also on that one. Dillard, a very fine runner, gets about four and a half yards. We'll call it a four-yard pickup. Running play to Dillard again. He's hit once. He's still grinding. Hitting him was Walker. 
but uh, we didn't see who the finish was. We're going to take another timeout as we'll take a 30-second timeout on the Jackson Christian Network. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what, I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. And we are back. Three fine young people taking water out for Jackson Christian. One of them recovered a big fumble in a middle school win last night that Jackson Christian had. Don't forget to support the volleyball team. They are in action. What a great golf team we got. Third and eight, ball on the 44. They send a man in motion. He'll stop and set up, which he can do. Empty backfield. Patterson's definitely passing unless he decides to run it. Newsom wants him. Newsom overran him. He's trying to buy time. Patterson's got the strong arm, zips it down the field, and within a hair, Mason Vaughn almost ripped it off. And Blake Rowland was there. And, of course, one of the unusual facts about Blake is uh, he says right now with his hair like it is, he looks like Ken of Barbie and Ken. And that one was incomplete. Just Patterson's second incomplete pass. These are unofficial. Fourth and eight, 24.3 seconds. Ball in the center of the field. It's on the 44-yard line. They go three receivers to the left, one to the right. Let's see what they do with the man in the backfield. Let's see if Caleb Newsom, he wants to beat the tackle, and he makes him step up. And here comes the pass underneath. It'll get the first down, buy him some more time. A tackle there. It looked like both... 44 and 7, Brooks Goff may have been in on it, and 44, definitely Kai Wyatt was in on it. And there is another timeout. We'll take a quick timeout here on the Worthy Road Studios Network. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. We are back with 15.1 seconds. That completion for another first down also was about 14 yards. Time for at least two plays. Trips left. They send a circle route, but they're going to throw deep in the end zone, and it is going to be picked off at about the three-yard line, and that is Trent Carrier. That one was supposed to be a jump ball, but a little underthrown. Trent Carrier and Jackson Christian will have it with 9.8 seconds. And Carrier with the INT. Jackson Christian will definitely want to hold on. They'll do whatever's safe from their two-yard line. Let's see if they go under center. They, they don't this time. They've got Austin Kelly, and he's got to get out of the end zone, or Easton Jones does. And they give to Easton. He runs straight ahead. This should run out the clock as Easton picks up about five, maybe six yards as the clock runs down. And at the end of one half of play, Jackson Christian 13, North Point nothing. We'll take a timeout and come back with halftime stats, and you'll get to hear the great Greg Armour, who the press box is named for, give a stat report. We'll be back after this. McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. 
call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. 
You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what? I'm not gonna say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. 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 I will be the Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. 
Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and Go Eagles! Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. We are back here at Ronnie Fowler Field in the Greg Armour Press Box. And I've been telling you, i got a celebrity coming to do stats. Well, he is here. The man the press box is named for. The man, the myth, the legend, and the best statistician in the state of Tennessee and I'll put his stats up against anybody. Greg, what's the statistical report so far? Well, Joe, for let's go first to North Point. All right, for North Point, they had four first downs in the passing department. The quarterback, number six, attempted 10, completed seven for 56 yards. His leading receiver was number 24. He had four catches for 36 yards. In the rushing department, they rushed 12 times. For 30 yards. Leading rusher is number 29. He had seven rushes, 15. Number 22 had three for nine. They punted the ball once for an average of 26 yards, and they kicked off once. They had two penalties for 20 yards. All right, let's go over to Jackson Christian. For Jackson Christian, they had seven first downs in the passing part. Austin Kelly attempted 10, completed seven for 55 yards. Leading receiver was Jalen Mosley. He had seven catches for 55 yards and two TDs. In the rushing department, we rushed 14 times for 38 yards. Leading rusher, Deuce Lawrence, had nine rushes for 38 yards. Easton Jones had three for 14. We punted the ball twice with an average of about 37-yard punt. We had one penalty for five yards. We scored six points in the first quarter, seven points in the second quarter, and our score at halftime is Jackson Christian 13, North Point 0. Greg, what was the time on that second uh, score? I did not get that recorded. I do not have that, Joe. Uh, well, you'll, I had the first one was with 51.5 seconds yeah. first quarter. Normally, I'm using a new scorebook tonight. I've never used it before. Well, I'll start making a note of that for you. Well, that, that will that will help, but I shouldn't have missed that. Like I said, there's the blank on it. And, uh, uh What's that, the first, I believe the stats you gave me, the first extra point that Zach's missed in 53 attempts. He had had 52 straight. That's that's correct. And, uh, of course, as you and I talked about, our leading. Uh, we've had a good rushing game considering, uh, you know, the uh, little man himself, Cam Boyd, graduated. And uh, Paul's saying hi, but you're not important. The stats are important, Paul. <laughs> anyway, uh, We've got one score of note because uh, it's our future opponent next week. We've got to travel to Trenton Peabody. Uh, they are trailing, and it looks like they're fixing to come out of halftime 7 to nothing to USJ. And, of course, their coach at USJ, very defensive-minded. He was the yes. defensive coordinator at Innsworth. That's and, right. Uh, he, he knows his stuff. But let's get back to ours. Austin Kelly having a, a fine night considering he had that baseball injury last year. That's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, this and is forget the injury, he's having a fine night anyway. That's correct. And Jack Patterson, other than the interception, has really not had a bad night. He was, what, 7 for 10? 7 for 10 for 56 yeah. yards. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Any stat jump out at you? Uh, you know, 
I mean, they was driving there going towards the uh, – for, right for the half, and we intercepted the ball, which ended their momentum. Uh, Big play. I look for us to keep that momentum coming out of the second half and build on it. You're absolutely right, and that's a big play. Trent Carrier, uh, of course, that's our first interception. I had a text that just came in. They wanted to know what was the rushing yardage. I know it was 14, and I smeared my ink a second uh, ago. For us, uh, 14 rushes, 38 yards. 38 yards. That's one thing I know Coach Palmer would love to improve. And uh, by this time last year, uh, Cam was past 38 yards by himself a lot of the time. That's correct. You know, but, you know, uh, we've got a new running game, and so, I mean, the, it, it'll pick up and get better. First game of the season. thought Caleb Newsom had several good rushes. He's had to Caleb, had Caleb had some good rushes. Uh, Gavin had some good rushes. Uh, they're not going to contain those two guys uh, at one time. No, one of them's going to get around the end. And Kai Wyatt has been all over the field. Uh, yeah. He may have had some secondary, but uh, he's had a couple of first hits too. I got Kai Wyatt with uh, – with uh, seven, with five tackles right now. Yeah, we're we're pretty good flowing to the football. Uh, um, last night I watched a game where South Gibson, though, uh, they flowed to the football, but nobody stayed home on the backside, and that really hurt them as much as that uh, fumble snap uh, on the punt that yep. led to a touchdown. But right now the Eagles, so far, no mistakes. We've recovered a fumble, and uh, that was Mason Vaughn, right? That was Mason Vaughn, yes. And Mason with the fumble recovery, Trent Carrier with the interception and the uh, defense. And, folks, I hope you've enjoyed and picked up on some of the stunts. Not only does Coach do a good job with the stunts and stuff, but I think Avery's added a little flavor to those stunts too. Avery's added a lot to the, to the guys. The guys like him, and, uh, you know, he's got a lot of experience. He has. He's been there, done that, and got the T-shirt. That's right. That's right. And uh, great coaching staff here by the Eagles. And uh, any observations you want to make about this one? And, again, Greg does coach on the coaching staff, too, keeps the stats. And uh, you don't play football without Greg Armour. Greg, you, you know you can't retire. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Joe. No, I just think that we've got to come out of the locker room and, and – and keep that momentum that we took away from them in the first half and keep it going. Uh, we do kick off to them. They get the ball first, so we've got to uh, step it up on defense and let, and get them a three and out. Absolutely. That's one of the things we have got to do. And, folks, you can uh, – we'll get you a way that you can text us. Uh, we've had a little technical difficulty, and for those of you wondering where the replay is, Paul is here working on it now as he tries to keep anywhere from three to five games going at the same time. And uh, it was working earlier today because we tried it out. Everything worked. Sometimes, uh, who knows, somebody may have stepped on a wire upstairs or something like that. You never know what's happened. But uh, Greg will have final stats and comments after this game. Greg, anything you want to tell them before we take a timeout? Now just uh, keep keep watching and uh, supporting the Eagles, and uh, we look forward to uh, a great second half. Absolutely. There he is. Let's take a timeout, and when we come back, it'll be time for football at Ronnie Fowler Stadium. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9000. 
no matter where you are. You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. We are back with both teams warming up on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network where you can see this game on Jackson Christian's Facebook. Also, it will be archived tonight, and you can watch it in perpetuity. In other words, you can watch it forever. We are broadcasting from the Greg Armour Press Box in the Ronnie Fowler Field and Stadium. Remind you that this show is brought to you by the Blacksmith, Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, Coca-Cola, Deaton's Carpet, Elite Dental, Nest Realty, Humboldt Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep Ram. Also by the Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating and Air. Kenny Sutherland with the five-star realty. Great American sports. Go by and see Ben and Wesley. Southern Capital Advisors and David White Body Shop. Please support these advertisers and supporters and who help make it free. Uh, those of you, we are glad to have you from North Point. You have to pay, I believe, the fee to the National Federation. The Jackson Christian Broadcast, well, you don't have to pay one. This is not game. This game is free to both North Point and Jackson Chris, Christian supporters. And uh, we are not with the National Federation. We are actually uh, independent of that. And Jackson Christian and the advertisers, they pick up the bills and stuff on this and do a good job. Uh, Warm-ups are just about over. There's a minute 48 left. And Jackson Christian will be kicking off to North Point Christian. And uh, we are looking forward to that. We got a score from Dyersburg a while ago that we will get to you. We know that it uh, looks like in the third quarter, if I am correct, uh, USJ holding on to a 7 nothing lead with Peabody driving. Peabody has crossed over into USJ territory about the 46, maybe the 47. We're just getting the odd reports. Steve Beverly on the call there. Diamond Dave McCulley. Great broadcaster, and you want to focus on what he has to say at TCA. And, of course, uh, Dan and Terry calling the game for Peabody over at USJ. So we've got two teams there, each one with their own special broadcast. Zach Cisco will kick off tonight. And like I said, he's a senior, and he was All-State, missed his First extra point, and he probably, he was a sophomore the last time that happened, and he's a senior now. And uh, he works hard at it, takes lessons from the former UT kicker, Will Hoyt. North Point, as you can see on our screen, is sending their receiving team out onto the field. And I'm sure that Charlie Paroli will be one of the deep men and actually the other deep man is is that Jonathan Bunch we'll check that number a while ago we thought it might have been McDaniel but we'll check and see if that is Bunch back there we'll check those jerseys those lighter numbers in there and I'll go to the monitor but we got a wide shot right now but it looks like Bunch and Paroli back Cisco Reached the end zone a lot last year. I need to pull that stat sheet out and tell you about that. Greg fixed some very good stats. Reminds you of the Eagle Show that will be on Tuesday night at Hub City Deli, focusing on Jackson Christian sports. And uh, right now I don't see my stats on on there. Here's a line drive kick headed. It's in the end zone, and there will be no return. That is an automatic touchback in high school football. So with no time off the clock at the start of the third quarter, 
80 yards away from the end zone. That's where North Point will start on their own 20. The ball will be put in the center of the field, equidistant from each sideline. And we'll check here in a moment and see some of the young men that come out. Look like carriers out there rolling. Also, Brooks Goff. Two receivers to each side for the Trojans. They throw the quick one with a one-man screen, and they get good yardage on these plays, about seven it looks like. And I think that you're going to see North Point really open it up as that was offered with the catch if I have the right number, and he gets nine on that, so it'll be a second and a short one. Man in motion. Roland comes up now. They circle around. It's a running play. Pull the guard like a trap. It's going to be a first down, and that time good yardage. Across the 35 down to about the 38-yard line. Let's see where they actually set it down. So that is 11 yards. Very quick hitting play. First and 10. Sprinting out to his right, throws behind, good pickup and catch and good hands, and it should be a first down, the tackle by Carrier. But again, the receiver was number four. That is Alford. Another first down, and uh, North Point not giving up any time. They are moving it and running their offense. They'll start four in the backfield, and let's see if they can get him set. It's first and 10 from the 49-yard line. Again, they fake, or actually they make the one-man screen, but uh, that was supposed to have been a lateral because the one-man screen took off and would have been open way down the field had they been able to execute it. Still a pickup of about five yards. And only 30 yards, and I believe they, yes, they've eclipsed that now. Here's the snap. The linebackers come. It's a running play, almost like a draw, and uh, Toby is running. He spikes the football, and that's supposed to be an unsportsmanlike penalty when you do that. And there's a penalty flag on the field. I don't know if they're going to call the spike like that, but uh, that is not an allowed rule. The holding will bring it back, so the spike of the football is irrelevant. I've got the rule book here, and, uh, and I was just hap happening to read that rule. You can get excited, but you are not to spike the football after a play. So a holding penalty will bring it back and make it second and about 12 and a half. Send a man in motion. Patterson wanted to swing it. He'll run it up the middle of the field like a quarterback draw because looked intentional. He's going to get the first down and more. And Patterson, a good runner who is tackled and knocked out of bounds after a pickup of about 20 or so, maybe more than that. So they go from second and 12 to a first down. Well inside Jackson Christian territory now. Let's see what the signal is. Personal foul, Jackson Christian. That penalty will move it 15 yards. And that's not the kind of penalty you want with the drive that North Point is putting on. They're playing with a vengeance here. Two receivers to the right, one left, one running back in the backfield. Tight end, and the right guard moved, but they're not going to blow it on that. He started backing out early. Otobi, uh, with a gain of probably about three, we'll see where they spotted the football. They say his knee hit with a one-yard gain. And 
And if you go back and watch the, a replay of that, the guard did move backwards, and that's supposed to be. Here's the two-man screen with some guards coming out. It's complete. I know White was one of the tacklers in on that. Did not see some of Craig was in the area there. And uh, so about a pickup of about four makes it third and five. Ball is on the 12-yard line of Jackson Christian. This is four-down territory. Patterson and the team looks for the signal in. They use the cards at the Trojans bench. We use the hand signals. Big third and five, single coverage carrier out here. Two receivers, and again, thought there was a little early movement. A good throw and catch, but excellent coverage by Jack Collins that holds it to about a one, maybe two-yard gain. We'll see what they list at. And it is fourth. Well, they said it was more than today, so they gained four on that one. Fourth and one, interesting. Very interesting. You got to come up and really play press coverage. Let's see if they run the football. Ball's on the eight. They're going to run it. Now, the question is, did the body lean get it? Patterson says yes. The officials will stop the clock, spot the football. And uh, the only people that really know right now are the officials, and it's going to depend on where whether they give a left or right-footed spot. It is the proper spot, and Jackson Christian has held. Jackson Christian takes over on downs. They will start at their eight-yard line. Long way from the other end zone, 92 yards approximately. Gay will be snapping the football. Highbauer, that one of the guards, Tristan Nash, I think is in there. We'll pick it up and see if he is. May not be him here. Pass, jump ball type situation. Just barely out of the hands of Trent Carrier, but good coverage by number 10, Jonathan Bunch, the senior cornerback. Coming into the ball game for Jackson Christian is number 25, James Dwyer. You've got Collins, Dwyer, and Mosley. Looks like they're going to run trips. No, now Dwyer's going to go to the other side. Three down linemen, and they are good-sized linemen with Chris Soriano anchoring the middle of that line. They pull the guards. They give to Deuce, but the blocks didn't hold, and Deuce will be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage that would bring up a third and ten. Easton Jones checks into the lineup. And it looks like Deuce Lawrence will check out. And it is no gain for Deuce and it is a big third and ten. This is a possession down. You don't want to switch. And it looks like they are sending Bunch wherever Mosley goes. Double coverage on Mosley this time. They're going to throw underneath. And again, and when I say underneath, it's behind is what I meant to say. Mosley has got it for a big first down from the eight out to about the 28-yard line, a pickup of 20. Eight for 12 for Austin Kelly and another first down by passing. I have that as the eighth first down of the night. It's first and 10 for the Eagles on their own 29. Three down linemen. The linebackers close quickly. Easton Jones, is that him? No, that's Trent Carrier running the football. And Trent with an excellent carry. Usually you look for Trent as a wide out. Let's see where they spot it. It's not a first down. It's a gain of about... Seven. So, Carrier, here's another run right here. It's for the first down. That's Easton Jones, and he looked like he was shot out of a cannon for about 13 yards. 
27 yards now, and they're bringing the football back. And because I'm using this new scorebook, that messes up my scorebook for stats. And the yellow handkerchief, we're playing drop the handkerchief now. And this will back up Jackson Christian 10 yards. So now it goes to second and 12, and that erases that fine carry. It also messes up my scorebook, and I know people really don't care about that one. But USJ has scored again and leads 13 to nothing with the attempt at the extra point. Try to get you some other scores. Ball on the 27. They bring people up, five men coming. The pitch, here's Easton Jones. Somebody gets him from behind and drags him down right at the line of scrimmage to see if his body lean got him anything. Got him one. He's got 15 yards on the – so it's third and a long 11. Bunch coming back to this side, and he is shadowing the side that Mosley is on. Carrier will be in there one wide out. Here's the snap to Kelly. Kelly looking, wants to go. He throws it up in the air. Does he have Jack Collins? And a nice hit by Bunch knocks it away from Jack Collins. It'll be fourth down. Punting situation for Zach Sisko. Comes the punting team on. Let's see if Paroli's going to be deep or if they're going to come after this one. Looks like Charlie Paroli, the senior, Goes back to about his 36, maybe the 30. Now he's stepping up a little bit, going to come up to the 40. Cisco gets his foot in. Nice high spiral. Fair catch signal for at about the 36 and a half yard line. And that's where North Point Christian will take over, trailing 13 to nothing. A very ragged series that time for the Eagles. Penalty took them out of contention for moving the football further. Good coverage over here by Bunch. Looks like Musgrave is coming here to the right. One wide out, single covered on the far side. They're going to try Dillard, and he dances through there for a short gain. A host of tacklers with White, one of them on the bottom. Blake Rowland was there, and I bet Caleb Newsom. I see a 48 right in that area. There were some other young men there. So a pickup of one for Dillard. Be second and nine, ball on the North Point 38. Two wide outs to the left, three down linemen, and here comes a delayed rush, and the overrun the play gets bumped. Nice pass out there. It's a first down. Gets by the tackler and down to the Jackson Christian 37 or 38-yard line. 16 attempts, and we'll count the completions here in a moment uh, for Patterson. Another first down. They get their eighth first down. And it's first and 10 from the Jackson Christian 38. And ja uh, North Point's had the best of this half. Off the left side is DeMonte Dillard, and he's going to rumble for at least six yards. Collins with the tackle. Here comes the replay, and you'll get to see that fine run. Coming back to the line of scrimmage, slot right. Back is to the right in the spread. They send a man in motion. It's a pitch type. It'll count as a completion. It'll be a first down and more as running hard was offered. And that is considered a pass. You get to replay and get to see it again as they quickly, they being the Trojans of North Point come to the line of scrimmage, first and 10 from the Jackson Christian 19, trying the left side, and they blew the left side, or the right side, actually, the Jackson Christian defense out of there that time. 
Coming into the ball game is 58 Tristan Nash, wearing his brother Tacker's number. Tristan plays on both sides of the football. Dillard with another four-yard pickup. He's got 26 yards now. Second and six, ball on the Jackson Christian 15. Now is out here, and we'll check who he's with to the right. The read option, and they were pitching all the way, and a good solo tackle by Wyatt knifing in behind the blockers. And Kai Wyatt did a great job there. And it'll be a third down. This is four down territory for North Point, though. Going to the right and single wide out is now Alford and Musgrave. They give, and he's got good yardage, he being DeMonte Dillard. Uh, he got hit by Roland and Carlos Roberson may have been there, but I think he's going to be shy just by a short amount. Fourth and one, and it's less than one. It's fourth and about two feet. Jackson Christian will have to bring everything but the kitchen sink, but you still got to guard the pass because you got one of the best throwing quarterbacks in the state of Tennessee in Jack Patterson. The snap, Patterson gives. This time they blew the Jackson Christian line back and have the first down. And it will be first and goal. Here comes the replay, and you'll get to see, watch their blockers knock back and create that hole, and we were slanting, and they got enough that they got the first down. First and goal from the eight. We're still in the third quarter. Sprint looking for the man underneath. He'll be close. He breaks a tackle getting into the end zone. And we'll try to get the number. Again, those light numbers inside. The, he hasn't turned where we can see it. But a touchdown pass with a minute 55 brings this game back. Let's see if we can get the replay. And that is number four, Alford, with the touchdown. With 155 in the third. Smith on to attempt the extra point. And remember, Jackson Christian missed that first extra point. Here's the snap. The kick is up. It looks good. The officials say it is good. It is 13 to, to 7. We'll take a timeout here on the Worthy Road Jackson Christian Network. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installations, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to $16,000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools Massive Showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. We are back with a minute 55 to go in the third quarter. Jackson Christian leading 13-7, to but a very precarious lead. There will be adjustments made on the sideline, and North Point has played with a vengeance in the second half, much like they did at their field last year. And the Jackson Christian offense got a first down, but penalty killed what could have been a good drive after a good defensive setup, and the defense is spending too much time on the field. Smith's kick. Up in the air, going to come down to Jack Collins at the five. He starts up the middle, and uh, we missed some blocks, but Jack turned it into a good run. He got pulled down by the back of the neck, and uh, 
again, I don't think you're allowed to put your hands there, but you know what? The officials didn't see it, so it's not a foul. Saw some unusual calls last night. If you'll go back and watch that South Gibson and Milan game, uh, well, you know, everybody's real sensitive if you talk about things like that. But they are. Both teams have had some unusual calls. First and 10 on the 33. Kelly brings them out. Mosley, the closest to the formation, but he's going there. They're going to try to run a two-man screen for him. He has to break one tackle. Very short gain, and North Point is sitting on that play. And here comes the replay, and you'll see that they got good defense out there. Missed one block. We did not get the first man to hit him, and that slowed him up for a very short gain of one yard. Now it looks like we've got a timeout. They're bringing both teams to the sideline, and the coaches come out. The water will take a 30-second timeout here on the Jackson Christian Network. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what, I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. We are back here with the third quarter still in vogue. It's 137 left in it, 13 to 7. Jackson Christian leads North Point Christian. Been a real white knuckler. Now, North Point Christian, has, other than a good goal line stand by Jackson Christian, has owned the second half. Three down linemen to go against the spread. They fake. They come back to Mosley and again. Didn't get it blocked, but Mosley speed. Now he picked up a blocker. Now he's running on his own across the 50, the 45, down to about the 35-yard line, and a big first down all the way from the 34 of Jackson Christian to the 35 of the Trojans. Now another first down, their ninth one for Jackson Christian. 31 yards on that one. Kelly has thrown 15. We'll count. I think he's 10 for 15, but we'll make it official. Slot left, but it's a running play. They pull the guard, and that time they ran into 45, had good penetration for North Point. If you'll watch, if we get a replay, you'll see that. If we don't, you can go back and watch this game. Knox Casio, and uh, also a young man from the front side got good penetration. I want to say that was... Um, I did not get the correct number. Jack Collins coming out. Looks like Roberson coming in, Carlos Roberson. Second and 13 with a loss on that one. Mosley out here, and you see Bunch to his side. Here's the snap. They fake over the middle. Again, the route, and that was just great coverage. Can you catch him? No. What do you have? Touchdown, Jackson Christian. Jalen Mosley, 38 yards at the 27.3 mark. 38 yards on the TV to Mosley. We're going to see a replay of that. Watch the fine catch, the handwork as he gets by. The guy pulls it back in, and this is the reason Jalen Mosley is the 138th player around here, and Blake Beckham is a savior right here. He's a good man. And uh, big score for Jackson Christian. Let's see if they go for two on this one. To Kelly. They look and they look and they've got it. And coming across to make that catch is the one and only tight end. Daniel Green, the big man, screened him off and caught it. Two-point conversion. And Jackson Christian goes up 21-7 to with 21 Point six seconds. We're going to take a timeout. Holy cow. We'll be back on the Jackson Christian Network.
McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. We are back. The exciting catch that Mosley pulled in and then the two-point conversion to Daniel Green, who used that big body. He's a great first baseman, has great hands, and pulled in the PAT for the two-point conversion. It's a 21-7, and that's a big two-point conversion. Cisco's kickoff, end over end, going down, coming down about the five, and I say he was down, Mr. Referee. You missed that one. So we'll check it on replay and see if he caught it with that knee on the ground. There's no way the white hat could see that one properly where he was positioned. Oh, he's down. Missed it. Now, he may have seen a little bit of distance in there. And, again, he had a better shot. I will give him this. If he says it's so, it's so. But a return out to the 25. It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans with 22.2 seconds left in the third quarter. A lot of football still to play. Tight slot to the left, man in motion. He fakes, he keeps. Slipping a little bit, but even if he didn't slip, I'm betting on Kai Wyatt right there to make that tackle. I'm gonna go back to my old scorebook next week. Fourth quarter, USJ still leading 14 to nothing over Peabody. And it looks like USJ's defense is going to be a force to reckon with. And now their time has run out at the end of three quarters of play. Jackson Christian, 21. North Point Christian, 7. Let's take a timeout. I will be the greatest, greatest, greatest. I will Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. And we are back. We see the Eagle defense come out. See Cedric Anderson, Newsom, Brooks Goff out there, Easton Jones. Blake Rowland, Jack Collins, Trent Carrier on the far side, Mason Vaughn, who has a uh, fumble recovery, I believe. Yes, he did. The interception was by Trent Carrier. Second and 10 after the no gain, man in motion reverses. Starts back to the left side of the offense. They're going to throw out here. They got uh, holding Rowland, but got away with it. And that's a good, probably a legal hold. Yeah, but you know what? The rest of his friends came and helped him out. I see Craig helped him out wide, and they helped the receiver offer it up, and that's, that, that is what football really should be about. Third and ten against one of the best throwing quarterbacks, Patterson, in the state of Tennessee. He has good wideouts. As a matter of fact, most of his wideouts, except for Gilliland back from last year, need a big rush. The Eagles do. Let's see if they're bringing a linebacker. They send a man in motion. And here goes the drop back. Patterson looking to crank the javelin up. He's got a man over the middle. And good defense by Easton Jones. And the pass a little overthrown. And next week I'm going to bring my own mustard. Well, they're out of mustard, and I, I hate ketchup on hot dogs. You may like them. I don't. It is fourth down. Eagle defense held much better stand on defense, and North Point didn't let up any at all on the intensity. Smith on the punt. Third and 
I actually will be at Peabody next week. We being Jackson Christian, enjoy you North Point listeners. Sorry that I don't have uh, Will Cisco with me. What a great man. Here's the snap. They close the gate. Jackson Christian has a return on and checking. Make sure nothing funky happens if you like that. Somebody said Dusty Rhodes used to say funky like a monkey, but uh, I don't know whether that's a good thing to say. They down the football, they being the Trojans of North Point at about the 43-yard line of Jackson Christian. We're in the fourth quarter play, 10.46 left. Mosley has put on a show receiving tonight. Daniel Green has a big, important two-pointer. North Point wants the football back right here. See Jake Cherry in there now on the front line for them. They go with the three-down lineman. Carrier in motion, a little crossing action there. And here comes Deuce, and he's running the football across the 50. He'll be short of the first down. Deuce Lawrence, I want him to break one of those big ones, and I know I'm announcing a game, but uh, guess what? He, uh, I like to say Deuce on a loose, probably illegal procedure. I'd, we'll see what the signal is. Yes, uh, didn't get set. That'll move it back five. And just when Jackson Christian gets their offense going good, they shoot themselves in the foot with a penalty. This is something that you know that Coach Palmer and his staff will be working on. And Coach Reichard, the offensive coordinator, won't like that. Darby Palmer, of course, played his football at Harding University. Avery Williamson played at the University of Kentucky. Now, Brian Bullard didn't play in college, but he played baseball in college at Freed Hardeman. He was a great football player up in Cheatham County. Here's straight handoff up the middle to Lawrence. He'll get some of that back, but it will be third down, a possession down. Jennings was in on that one. Also, Jake Cherry, and I may have missed one. Lawrence comes out. Easton Jones comes in. Collins will go left. Jones in the backfield, and I think they jumped in the neutral zone. Oh, my gosh. Come on, official. That is a horrible call or no call. What in the world? Pass to Mosley, and you see him running, and no lack of effort, though, from North Point. They got after him, but another first down. And I just, I don't know why that young man shook his head. The, you clearly went into the neutral zone. Um, I cannot give this officiating crew a very high grade, and they will probably dislike me for the rest of my life. Mosley with another catch. Gets the ball down to about the 39-yard line, and Jalen has had an outstanding night. Jack Collins, who just missed a pass, mainly because of great coverage by North Point. Bunch is playing press coverage on Jalen now. Here's the toss. Breaking one tackle, getting forward for a couple of tough yards was Easton Jones. And they'll say he got three out of the deal. 9-13, clock not arrested, it's running. Somebody asked me one time, how do you arrest the clock? That means you stop it. Mosley goes to the left. Bunch is over there, but looks like he's matched up on Jack Collins, but he's watching Mosley. Nice toss to the tight end and breaking some tackles and dragging people. Rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling is Daniel Green, the fine, fine tight end. He gets a first and – is it first and goal? No, it's first – down from the 14. Nice pickup. Tenth first down. It'll be first and 10 from the 14 yard line. They are in Zach Cisco field goal range. And remember last year in the contest, Cisco had three field goals for Jackson Christian. North Point defense reaching back here, trying to get that extra. They go with a one high safety. And they're going to cheat towards Mosley, but it's a running play. And Deuce Lawrence had to break a tackle just to get back to the line of scrimmage.
Paul Schultze here along with Stephanie in the press box. Gary helping upstairs with action. We'll send two wide outs to each side, we being the Eagles. A man starts in motion. They're looking for Deuce Lawrence. They've got Deuce. Can he put a move on? Yes. Puts a move on one man. Gets down close to first down territory. We'll see where they spot it. The official does the right thing on the far side and tells them to hold position. Let's make sure there's no yellow handkerchiefs. Let's also make sure the spot of the football, and I like what that official did. That's the proper way. That's good officiating. Now, the officials are talking, and, yes, I do see a yellow handkerchief. Now that all the cow tromping got off it, they stepped all over it, but that's okay. Personal foul, blow to the head is against Jackson Christian, and like I said, penalties have shut down their offense. And uh, let's see the replay on this and see if we can pick up. It's a nice pass out to Deuce Lawrence. He makes a move, gets by a man. Unless they're calling on Deuce for dropping his head, there is no penalty there unless that's what the penalty's for. You teach body lean. What in the world, officials? As you can tell, I'm not agreeing with it. And they may be right. I'm not going to say they're wrong because they've changed the rules around, and I don't have my rule book where I can get to it. So it's second and 19 from the 23. Jackson Christian shifts. The down lineman to the outside shifts down. Flushed out of the pocket. Kelly wants to get away from it, and he'll just take it and run out of bounds. Maybe pick up two and make it third and a long 17. That was smart. He didn't try to do something that wasn't there. North Point defense did a very good job of flushing him out of the pocket. They didn't give him much. It's third and 18. They gave him a pickup of one. I thought he might have had two. Carrier and Collins to the right here. Mosley single covered on the left side. Fierce rush from the outside, a cornerback. And just about, they threw it behind the intended receiver, Green, and almost threw an interception. It'll be four down, and Zach Sisko will come on. The ball's on the 22. It'll probably be spotted, let's see, on either the 29 or 30, which would – Zach's kicked him further than this at times, but early in the season he had has some tightness in his leg. Kelly is calling for a player to come on, and we still haven't seen where the spot's going to be. It's going to be the 29, so it'll be a 39-yard attempt. In his range, not the angle he would want, but it's up. It looks good to me. The officials say it didn't go over the goalpost. Gentlemen, if you come straight down and the goalposts were to have disappeared, it would have been good. Don't understand it. I, as you can see, I don't agree with them, but they're under the goal post. I'm looking at an angle, and I should have looked over to see if we had a replay. Plenty of time for Jack Patterson and the Trojans to come back because they have one of the best passing games in the state. Patterson has thrown 19 passes tonight with one interception. He's got plenty of time. Nice catch there, hauling it in and going for another couple of yards. Down to the 35, so a first down. The 10th one, let's watch this replay. Put it perfectly high enough that our shorter defensive backs could not have gotten it. Here's the flip. They're going to throw the halfback pass. Carrier gets there. 
and did a good job. I know that the North Point coaches are wanting face guarding, but I don't believe you have face guarding. And that's the reason I was questioning the call uh, earlier in the game. That one is incomplete, but not thrown by Patterson. So Patterson is 15 for 19, if my stats are correct. And don't hold me to it. The snap, they fake. They're going to set up a little screen, and it's dropped out here. This a very sure-handed receiver and a fine young receiver all for drop that pass. And it brings up a big third and ten. Jackson Christian really needs to stop right here. Obviously, the Trojans need to get a first down here. Gray Patterson is going to go far to the right with a slot man. The wing back, Jackson Christian just rushing three, and uh, they get Newsom down. And now here is a great toss and a first down to number five, Musgrave, Alec Musgrave with the catch. And uh, you cannot give that much time to Jack Patterson. 11th first down unofficially. Greg Armour will be here with the official stats. Slot right, single receiver left. There is a wing right also. Some people might say H-back. They pull the guards, and we got infiltration. They'll stack him up right at the line of scrimmage, still fighting for yardage is the running back. That looked like Dillard and Jackson Christian player, and he helps him with a cramp. And I've seen a lot of good sportsmanship people helping each other up and they, these are two good teams. They scrimmaged a little bit last year. Tell you what we're going to do while they work on that cramp. Let's take a short time out. We'll be back after this on the Jackson Christian Network. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. Eli Craig, what a great effort, but I'm going to tell you what, there'll be plenty of pickle juice or mustard. Uh, he's got a super cramp, it looks like. Dyersburg 33, Dyer County 7. We don't know if that's a final USJ leading 14 to nothing with approximately two minutes. Here it's 21 7. Eagles leading the Trojans. It's second nine for the Trojans in Jackson Christian territory on the 49. Man in motion. He. Let's see if he is open. We pick him up with the deep secondary. A throw underneath and keeping his balance and breaking a tackle and running and trying to get out of bounds and does a good job of it like Alford. And that will be another first down. And here comes the replay. And uh, – Patterson steps up, then he starts to run. That puts a lot of pressure. He had a receiver, Alford come open, a broken tackle there, and a nice pickup. 
First and 10 on the 24, 5.53. The clock is arrested. Slot right. And it would have been an illegal formation. Good job by the wideout on the other side for North Point. It rushing, throwing it, and stepping out of bounds again. It's offered for a short gain. Replay coming up. Offered a busy man. And we don't see him in the pattern here, but he's underneath. And Patterson scrambles, throws a nice toss. He gets it. Coverage that time, it looked like it was. I did not I did not have the right number on that one. Now, that brings up second and six from the 20. North Point needs to score quickly, and then they'll probably onside kick. You're giving Patterson way too much time. He can eat you alive like that. And tipping it away because they had a receiver. A great play by Trent Carrier, who already has an interception. Here comes the replay, and look at the time, though, he's getting. Peabody just scored, we found out, in the USJ game. 50 seconds, they'll have to onsack it, but watch this. Watch this play. Carrier knocks it away, rolling in the area. Who else was there? Uh, we didn't get that number. Here comes a big third and six, four down territory. There will be no field goal kicking if it goes to fourth down. North Point has to go for it. Patterson in the backfield. DeMonte Dillard. Now they run kind of a stack, tight stack. Here's Patterson looking, looking, looking. Sprints right. We've, he's got a chase. He gets by Caleb Newsom. He's going to keep it, get the first down, and go out of bounds. Watch this replay. Newsom gets off the double team block, and uh, we're getting no pressure on Patterson. He's got time. Newsom gives chase. He outflanks Newsom, and wisely, this is what a good quarterback, Kai Wyatt, was going to hit him if he had stayed inbounds. But that time, good decision making. First and 10 from the Jackson Christian 13 with still a long five minutes to go. Man in motion. They're going to run an inside toss, and Alford is going to dance into the end zone, or did they get him before he made the end zone? Let's watch the replay. Uh, well, it is a touchdown, but horrible uh, fundamentals by the officials. And uh, – Ah, this this is interesting. It's twenty one thirteen. Five twenty two, and like I said, we're gonna wind up with a white knuckler again. Timeout on the field. Paul, is there any way to run that touchdown run back one more time? I never saw the officials signal it properly. It may have been the guy that was off. I'm having to use a monitor because the way our press box is built here, you cannot see the fail without the monitor. And uh, maybe one, but it was, you know, and like I said, I, I will be the talk of the officials because I have criticized them. See Blake Rowland putting his helmet back on to come out there. I see Smith, the kicker, on the field for the Trojans as they will try to make it 21-14. And like I said, five minutes and 22 seconds a long time. And uh, it's a final at Dyersburg. They beat the stuffing out. Easton Jones is coming off the field. He was hurt. We did not see that. And uh, I'm going to stand up, not use the monitor, even though they're going to kick the extra point with Smith. Brady Smith on to attempt the extra point. And this is an important one. He's a good kicker. Ball spotted at the 10. It'll be snapped from the three. Jackson Christian, let's see if they're coming all out. Didn't really, and that one is inside the uprights, and it is good. 
So let's take a timeout with Jackson Christian leading 21 to 14, five minutes, 22 seconds left. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. And the officials assessing a five-yard penalty against Jackson Christian School, or eventually they'll put the ball down. Going to kick off from the side. Smith is a little more. Uh, something to watch, Jalen Mosley is back deep. Now, the front wall and some of the good hands people are out there for this one. I see Blake rolling on. Smith is on. Uh, this looks like an onside kick attempt. They'll try to make it bounce twice, get over the front wall, and run down there. And that's what it is. There's the first hop. We failed to fall on it. Now, we did we get on it? That thing was like a greased pig down there. Jackson Christian will have it on their own 35 with five minutes and 20 seconds to go. Only leading by seven. Much like last year's game, a sustained drive would help the Eagles. But the Trojans want to shut it down and get that football back with plenty of time to operate their offense. Trojans have probably had the better of the second half. Now, keep an eye on Bunch 10. Even though he's guarding an outside receiver, he has been cheating off towards Mosley every chance he gets when he's not got him. And see, so keeping an eye on it. Jackson Christian runs the football and picks up maybe one yard. Don't want to punt it. Stay in bounds. Long time. That clock still not under the five-minute mark. Some very interesting calls by the officials. Mechanics have been questionable at times. Mosley, let's see if he goes to the backfield. We've got Mason Vaughn, who's a very good wide out, matched up with Bunch. Mosley's going to try the football, cuts it up field. They'll try to rip it out of his hands now, and he's picked up only about four yards running the football, that's going to bring down, uh, bring up a very big possession down. It'll be third and a very long four, probably closer to five, short five. They say four, it's a long four. Mosley will come back to the wide out. Here is Daniel Green, the big man. Uh, he's going to be a wide out. We'll go with a double slot situation. Green is the one on the line comes the rush they got green for the first down and the big man holds on and that's what you do with the guy that's about six five and so daniel green with the catch and in about eight yards we'll go back and check that watch this uses his body to screen the defender off well and he is a good sure-handed receiver playcox at 26 and counting the clock is at 348 and counting. Is a seven-point lead. North Point Christian still has a lot of spit and vinegar in them to come after you, and they play. They pull the guards. Deuce Lawrence needs to wrap it up a little bit, carrying it like a loaf of bread, but gets at least five, maybe six yards on the carry. A time a, a good block by Ty Smith helped, and there is a timeout on the field. 
And with that timeout, we'll take one, too, here on Worthy Road Studios. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We are back, second and four, ball on the 45 of North Point Christian. Jackson Christian in possession. Needing a, about three more first downs. That won't necessarily salt things away, but that would really go a long way. Running play again, dancing. Deuce Lawrence across the 40, down to the 38. A seven-yard pickup approximately, depending on the spot of the ball. And a really good effort by Jack Collins out there. And uh, uh, the referee's doing something good, or the official on that side talking to uh, and doing a little preventative officiating, which is a good thing. It's another first down for the Eagles. I have them with 12. That may be, That's unofficial. Greg will be here with the official stats. Clock is wound and starts counting. The Eagles, barring coughing the football up or throwing an interception, has four more plays to get another first down and want to keep that clock running. Mosley and Lawrence will be in the backfield. Let's see if there's a little crossing action here. Slot left. And there he is coming around behind Lawrence. Play will only get back to the line of scrimmage if it did that. Clock will, though, keep running. Play clock hasn't started yet. They have to put the football down. They'll have 40 seconds before they have to snap it. Deuce Lawrence comes out checking his hand. Play clock, is it 30? No, they reset it at 25. What in the world? There's a timeout. That's the reason they reset it. They take a timeout, we'll take a timeout. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Second and 10, they actually lost some yardage on that one. Austin Kelly ready for the snap. There's the inside handoff. Actually, it's a double one. Trent Carrier gets across the 30, down to about the 28. It will be short of the first down, I think, but it will put us in very good position, us being the Jackson Christian Eagles. And like I said, North Point has no quit in them. They're still playing defense. Their timeout's been called by North Point. They'll take a timeout with it being third and a long one. We'll take a timeout also on the Jackson Christian Worthy Road Studios Network. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flowing experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Cooler weather this fall and a colder winter makes a spot even more enjoyable. Aloha Custom Pools massive showroom features a huge selection of spas from the biggest names in the business. Come see us on Carriage House Drive in Jackson today. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. 
save up to 16000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool and built this fall. we are back. Fall. Here's a run Come up on, the middle by Easton Custom Jones, pool. punching it for the first down. First and 10 for the Eagles at the 226 mark. Eagles still need uh, two touch, uh, two first downs, or they need another score. And those first downs need to run that clock down because North Point Christian, uh, again, last year's game still scares me. Had there not been a drop pass, an interception, and uh, the big run by Gage Boykin, uh, that would have been right down to the wire, and North Point could have. They were moving the football when the game ended. We are waiting for the play to be signaled in. The play clock has not been set. Now Jackson Christian takes a timeout. We're playing the timeout game. We'll be back after this on the Jackson Christian Network. Football is one reason to love fall. Here's another. Save up to 16000 on a fully loaded in-ground pool built this fall. Come by Aloha Custom Pool's massive showroom on Carriage House Drive in Jackson for full details and see available styles in person. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. We are back here in timeout, 156 left, first and 10 on the 24-yard line of North Point. And to the North Point fans, uh, I did not have a spotting chart for y'all. I was only sent a roster, and it's much easier to get tackles and stuff. They snap it. Austin Kelly will plop down at the 30-yard line, and they'll let the clock run, may even take a penalty out of it. Clock reset. They can run it all the way down to 40 again if they want to, and it's at 33 on the play clock. I think I called it shot clock earlier. Uh, good friend Moose let me know about that. Clock running at 128 and counting. 20 seconds on the play clock. 14 seconds, so... They'll have to snap it before that. It's second and 15. Let's see what Kelly does in victory formation right now. Kelly takes the snap and goes down. It'll make it third and about probably about 20. Less than a minute to go in this contest. I think that North Point is out of timeouts. 30 seconds left on the play clock. 48 seconds left on the official clock. Jackson Christian probably needs, let's see if they need to snap it one more time. They will. They'll have to. They will snap it with about five seconds. Actually did it with 10. It is fourth down, but they will not have to snap the football again. And this contest is officially over. Jackson Christian wins at a white knuckler 21-14 two good ball clubs right here both played hard both had positive points both had some down moments when penalties or certain things hurt show of sportsmanship coach gold is there with his players shakes the officials hand and uh this contest is officially over. Uh, we'll pick a star of the game and tell you who that is, but I got a feeling you know who probably gets it tonight. We'll get the official stats here in a few moments. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a timeout while the teams go through the niceties and talk to each other, and then we'll come back with official stats and final comments after this timeout. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. 
You should already be here. Special interest rates as low as 0%. You should already be here. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, and the all-new electric Nissan Aria. You should already be here. We even have no payments for 90 days. You should already be here. Save thousands on a new Nissan at Carlock Nissan. You should, you know what, I'm not going to say it. Carlock Nissan of Jackson. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. McCoy's Heating and Air specializes in more than just HVAC services. Our service department has expert plumbers to handle a wide variety of plumbing issues. Do you have a dripping faucet, broken toilet, or broken water heater? Whatever the issue may be, contact McCoy's today for quick service. Call McCoy's Heating and Air at 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. I will be the greatest Greatest, greatest, I will be the greatest, 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 I will be the greatest, 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 I will be the greatest, 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 I will be love. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction. And while we wait for the final stats, we'll tell you that for the Jackson Christian side, the happy score was 21-14. North Point lost but gave a great effort. They've got a good football team. I think they'll make the playoffs again this year. One of their goals is to go one step further than they did last year. They made the playoffs last year. And so let's get some scores from some friends of ours that play across the state. And we know that South Fulton – uh, won their game tonight. Uh, we have some friends up there in South Fulton. We weren't given a score on that one. But let's see if we can find out and get some other folks that we are familiar with. Trousdale County beat Livingston Academy 9 to nothing tonight. Bradley Central 41-21 winner over McNinn. Coming a little closer to home. Loretto beat Collinwood 28-21. Marshall County uh, was leading in their game over Columbia. <clears throat> we don't have a final. Final, Lawrence County over Summertown, 14-7. Like I said, we are coming closer. Mount Pleasant beats Wayne County, 29-6. And Waverly put, uh, well, there's a lot of points, 121 points scored in that game. Waverly had 71 of them and beat Camden Central. West Carroll, 45-28 over Gibson County. That should make Stephanie happy back there. Uh, in the fourth quarter, we don't have a final. Ripley's leading Jackson Southside 15-9. Lexington has come back and has taken the lead in the fourth quarter, 28-19 over Scotts Hill. McKenzie has beaten Huntington, 28-12. Crockett County has beaten Jackson Northside, 39-15. And condolences to the Barker family up there who lost their daughter last Saturday. Uh, one of the Crockett County coaches. Dyersburg beat Dyer County 33-7. Bolivar Central 50. Fayette Ware 6. Perry County in the process of upsetting Greenfield 34-7. May not be an upset. Tipton Rosemark, a future opponent of Jackson Christian. 49-7 over Halls. 
No score on that Pure Academy Haywood game. Jackson Central Mary had Liberty down 18 to nothing at halftime, and they didn't update that score. Henry County, who stopped an eight here in Jackson today, ran into them, beat the stuffing out of Brighton 42 to 10, or let's check. Yeah, that's right, to 10. I wanted to check that one. Uh, DCA beat Ezel Harding 42 to 7. And we know about those two schools. Lakeway Christian and our softball team played. They didn't do too well with Knox Catholic in football. They probably play better softball up there. Knox Webb beat BGA 30 to nothing. Lipscomb Academy uh, in the process of losing to IMG Academies out of Florida 35 to 10. And Friendship Christian, we know about them. They beat the stuffing out of Clarksville Academy, an old opponent that we used to play, 46 to nothing. Middle Tennessee Christian is in overtime with Columbia Academy. 25-19 may be the final, and that is not officially a final. Nashville Christian, who we played in the semifinals last year, lost to Davison Academy 27-20. to Getting a little closer, Houston has beaten Briarcrest 42-6. Phil Massey, that used to coach at Haywood at that school. And Adamsville, Murphy Fair, the guru of high school football's grandson, plays for them. They beat Fayette Academy, a future opponent of ours, 42-21. And somebody needs to get our score on there. Uh, Trinity Christian has beaten Chester County. 27, 20, and 14, 7, USJ beats Peabody. So uh, big win for TCA, a future opponent. We're going to take one more time out of about two minutes, and hopefully Greg will be with us. Had an accident and in need of repairs? If you're being towed, make sure the driver knows where to take it. David White Body Shop to expedite the repair process. David White Body Shop has been in business over 42 years. They have factory trained certified technicians and they are a direct repair shop for most insurance companies. They make sure your vehicle is repaired to manufacturer's recommendations. Always insist on the professionals at David White Body Shop. Whether you're relocating into Jackson or just wanting something new and different, call Kenny Sutherland with Five Star Real Estate Services. He can help make your dreams become a reality. With over 20 years experience and helping over 1,000 families with their new home purchases, there's a reason that he is your new construction expert and home buying specialist. Call Kenny today, direct at 731-444-1164 or 731-661-9. This is Lee Johnson. And this is Jason Lockridge from Southern Capital Advisors. We're thankful for the Jackson Christian family and are honored to help lay a foundation that will build our community for years to come. Welcome to Southern Capital Field and go Eagles. We are back with final stats and uh, we will let Greg Armour take that over and give you those stats. And our future opponent, Peabody, which will make them matter in an old wet hen, we gotta go to Peabody next week lost a hard fought white knuckler like we had here 14-7 to USJ and here is Greg with the official stats in Greg Armour press box. Thank you Joe. For North Point they had 14 first downs in the pass department. Number six attempted 26 passes completing 19 for 178 yards one TD and one interception. Number four had six catches for 80 yards. Number 24 had seven catches for 50 yards. In the rusher department, their leading rusher was uh, number 29. He had 11 rushes for 34 yards. Uh, their total rushings, they had 24, 27 rushes for nine, uh, 112 yards. 
27 rushes for 112 yards. Here, uh, I got, and this is my fault. One of my friends, uh, or one of our listeners, text. Can you give Patterson's passing stats again? 26 attempts, completing 19 for 178, one TD, and one interception. Big interception by Carrier too. Like I said, they had uh, rushing. They had a little bit over 100 yards rushing. Uh, they had three penalties for 30 yards. They punted three times for an average of 26 yards. For Jackson Christian, we had 14 first downs. In the passing department, Austin Kelly attempted 21, completing 15 for 191 yards and three TDs. Leading receiver, Jalen Mosley, had 12 catches for 157 yards and three TDs. Daniel Green had three catches for 34 yards. In the rushing department, Deuce Lawrence had 17 carries for 64 yards. Easton Jones had seven carries for 23 yards. We punted the ball three times for an average of 32 yards. We had six penalties for 55 yards. We attempted one field goal that was no good. Got to ask you about this, those penalties. Darby... Very calm gentleman, but he's going to be working on that this week, won't he? And uh, total offense. Gary, with, uh, I mean, Greg, with your permission, I think after looking at what you you helped me with a decision, we've got to tie for player of the game. We've got to have Kelly, who threw the three touchdowns and 15 for 21, tied with Jalen Mosley. And I, I, have, I have the right to award a tie. I think uh, you would g- agree with those two gentlemen yep. being the players of the game. That's correct, yes. And so those two gentlemen are players of the game. And uh, uh, any comments? Uh, it's a good win, but that was a white knuckler. That w- was a white knuckle. knuckle you know, uh, we've got some things we're probably going to have to work on. But, uh, you know, first week, you know, from doing scrimmages and whatnot, you you know there's going to be things to have to work on. Oh, you're right about that. And we opened Folks, a good omen is we opened with a very tough opponent. We opened with a Division II team. Yeah, they are bigger, got more folks they can choose from, and mm-hmm. uh, they're well coached by Tyler Gold and his staff. And uh, But we proved that we were well coached by our staff, That's too. That's correct. And when the going got tough, the Blue Eagles got tougher. And that's what you got to do. It was a good ball game. And, uh, like I said, any final comments you have, and then I think I'm going to wrap this one up because uh, it has been a long night. Now we just uh, invite everybody to come out next week uh, up at uh, Trenton Peabody to support the Eagles as they travel on the road for their non-conference game. And that will be a 7 o'clock start because they don't have turf. They have a very right. nice yes. grass field, and they can start their games at 7 o'clock. We'll take – and do pregame at 6.30 next week. Greg will be there to give you the official stats. Eagle show will be Tuesday night. And I know between you and, and Chase and Coach Bullard, the, uh, there will be some nice sheets with all kinds of nice stats and stuff like that on it. The Eagle show is the ultimate. Um, they don't need me. That show would run whether I was there or not. But the kids that we'll have, we have coaches in. Uh, Greg was with us last year for one of those shows, and uh, we're probably going to have him back on. Well, I don't know probably about it. He'll be back on the Saturday Sports Roundup with us one day because he's always good. He's got good insight, and anybody that gives 35 years to one place, I guess Turi Oman probably is the only one that kind of longevity here in Jackson on you. And, Greg, we appreciate you doing the stats Thank for you. us each week. We are going to – Kind of wrap it up. We're going to show you some names here in a moment of some really good people. I want to encourage you to support all of our fine sponsors and stuff. And, uh, of course, this is a copywritten broadcast, and uh, we'll tell you with the final statements. But there we go. Play-by-play by Coach Joe Holloway. Will Cisco was due to be here, but he was coming from North Alabama. He's okay. North Alabama is where he goes to college, but. 
We have a former player here, directed by Stephanie. Stephanie, we will let you put your last name on there next time, Janda. But I know it. But I want to. I want to see your name on there. Replay. Adriana was not here tonight. Uh, she is a little under the weather, uh, just like our field camera operator. And um, the young man, uh, y'all never gave me a name the, for the young man that did the cameras. Jack Young. Jack Young, and I'm going to write it down, Jack, so they don't do that to me again. Jack Young did a great job on the outside cameras along with Gary Lockhart and executive producer Paul Schultze. We will remind you one more time, this is a copyright broadcast. And some of you folks that like to cheat and stuff like that, don't let the feds get hold of you. Uh, that's kind of a blunt message. Now, any rebroadcast, retransmission, or further use of this contest without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is prohibited, protected by law. And for the great crew that brought you this game, it is time to say thanks for your time. This time, till next time, good night, all. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union and Bethel Universities, USJ, TCA, JCS, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to the sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.